What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be sharing with you my writing goals for 2021. I shared my YouTube and bookish goals in my resolutions tag which you can watch up here. I just kind of talk about my goals for the year and about how 2020 treated me, how I was feeling, and I talk about why I almost quit booktube. So definitely go and watch that if you haven't. Today I'll just be talking about my writing goals. I know that it's not for everyone so if you're interested thank you for staying. As always check my description for updated petitions and donation links. Let's get started. My first writing goal is to find a writing buddy which I have actually found a couple. First being Henry the writer. I've been talking to Henry a lot lately and I asked him if he would like to be a writing buddy. Essentially a writing buddy is someone that you do writing sprints with talk to about your work in progress, just all around talk about writing with and cheer them on as they finish their work in progress or draft whatever they're doing. I also have my friend Sarah from Night Owl Reader who I talk to regularly about writing and my work in progress, all of that stuff. So I would also call her a writing buddy. Honestly, if anybody needs a writing buddy, hit me up. I would love to talk to you. Um, I'm also in a discord called the Pride Writing Discord, which I'll link down below if you would like to join it. They have a really great community there and I just love talking to others about what I'm writing. It just makes me feel better about things and I really enjoy it. So I would also call some of them my writing buddies. Um, I want to get into their critique partner system that they have and I can only do that once I finish the draft and I can actually give somebody something to critique. Um, so that is my biggest goal. So that ties in with my next goal which is to finish my first draft of my new work in progress which you'll find out in my next goal which is to do a monthly writing vlog. I am now filming one for January so you will know about my new work in progress there but I want to finish the draft. I have a goal to finish at the end of February and through the software that I use Dabble I can set up a goal of how many words I want to finish in X amount of days and so I am pretty much on the path to this goal of finishing in February. So I'm not going to spoil anything but you'll get to know more in my vlog which will probably be out next week. I also want to start editing my book Breaking the Ice which I talked about in my writing vlogs in July for Camp NaNoWriMo. This is my hockey book and if you want to see those writing vlogs I have a whole playlist which will be up here and so I really need to get editing on that. Honestly what it really is is that I am just afraid to edit. I have never done that before. I'm afraid to go back in but I know what I need to finish so in the writing vlogs you will be able to see me finally editing Breaking the Ice. My goal is to be able to submit it in 2022 so I'm hoping to have both completed but that is a long-term goal depending on how this year goes. And my last goal is to do the story a month challenge which is hosted by the YA fantasy author Susan Dennard. My friend Sarah actually brought this to me and we decided to do it together. My only problem is that I don't really like each prompt and as I'm writing my own work in progress I can kind of add some of the things in. I'll link it down below if anyone's interested. Basically she gives you three prompts a month and you have to write a story with those. For me I'm going to try and implement some of them into my work in progress. This month I think I'm going going to go with the accountant. I am writing a book set in like the senior year of high school so I could have either a parent being an accountant, I could have a kid that is interested in accounting, it could happen. Um, maybe someone is taking an accounting class. I think that there's a lot that I can add to it. It is just hard as I'm doing my own work in progress and I know that Sarah is busy with school and all but we are going to try and make it work and it's fun. So if you would like to sign up for it I'll link it down below. You just have to sign up for her newsletter and you will get it in your email. And I'm also going to link down below my friend Maggie Ann Martin has started a podcast that I really enjoy. It is called Oh Draft where she's trying to draft a book in 45 days. She's a YA author. You probably know her from her book To Be Honest or The Big F. I've been friends with her since my start of booktube and I really love her. So if you're also a writer and maybe you're doing like a work in progress or you just like tips, definitely go and check out her podcast. I'll link it down below. It's on YouTube and it's on other places that you can get podcasts. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I have actually added a Discord where we can talk and also I'm going to be using it for a video.
in March. So if you would like to join our Discord, you have to become a patron. So if you are a patron, you will get access to it. That's all for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I'll see you next time.